gives me a glow and a shine to my skin so hello so this is an updated morning skincare routine i think i have like two on this channel already but i have a lot of new products i'm currently using my morning skincare routine i think has totally changed so i think it's right i show you what my current morning skincare routine is if you see my face for the first time you're very welcome my name is choma i make skincare videos and sometimes we talk real life but we like to have a lot of fun on this channel so do have to subscribe make sure that you join our community make sure you watch this video to the end every product that i'm using i'm going to list them in the description box so make sure you go in there and go and check the products just in case you're interested in any of them and you're not seeing the name on this video now before further ado let's just drive right into this video the first thing that i'd like to do is to always cleanse okay firstly i've already cleansed my face that's the number one step that i'm not showing you right now i use my CeraVe foaming cleanser you guys already know that already if you have been following me i use my CeraVe foaming cleanser already to cleanse my face which is very important to me so when i'm done cleansing my face i I like to go in with a toner and i use this toner this is the toner that i use the one from this is the toner that i use this one is from the brand clean and clear blackhead cleaning cleanser i've been using this toner for i, th I think a year plus now if not two years and it's been working for me it contains salicylic acid and i use it daily but if your skin cannot take using it daily maybe you just use it once a day so i like to just you can use your hands to apply this on your skin too but i don't do that i use my cutting pad and then i use it this has no metal feeling to it it can sting a little bit and that means if you have acne or you have cuts on your face you're going to feel it it feels like like the smell feels like you have alcohol in it so i like to go in with this sometimes you would see that after cleansing your face like you've cleansed your face normally with CeraVe cleanser or any cleanser that you'd like to use you still end up feeling like after using your toner you still have a lot of deaths on the cutting part like that's one thing that has made me like i'm always going to have a toner like i appreciate toners so much because they have been so good for my skin so get toners that actually match what your skin is everybody does not have the same problem just could be hyperpigmentation you could just want to have a glass skin or just soothe your skin so get what you want this helps me to deal with my pimples like since i started using this thing it has been such a very very good difference for my skin so i like to go in every part of my face clean my ears my neck just like i just showed you in this video every part of just take a look at this this is the front this is the back i just washed my face and still yet look at all the dirt that is on this i don't know if it's showing focus on it show show i don't know i think the camera is just making it white i just hope you saw it anyways now the second product i'm going to be using is this name you see you guys know me as name you see now and always make sure that before you start your skincare routine that you wash your hands let your hands be like let them be very very clean so because most of the products you're going to be applying you're going to be doing them on your hands and you don't want these products to just you know you don't want to introduce bacteria to your face while you're trying to apply your skincare product so i go in my name is here this is a staple in my routine like snail mucin is a staple in my, like i'm always going to be using before when i started using it, i was like oh my god this product but it will last you for a while so before you use it finished you can buy another one that's what i think so I, it's always going to be a staple in my routine this has helped me to soothe my skin when my skin is irritated it gives me a glow and a shine to my skin so chef's kiss the other product i'm going to be applying is my vitamin c serum you know guys just like i keep telling you i tell you that every morning i don't apply so much on my skin like i don't apply so much on my skin in the morning every active that i have in my routine will be used at night because at night i know i'm not exposing them to the sun in any way so but vitamin c is an active that is best used in the morning because it's an antioxidant so it works better in the morning in helping you to deal with free radicals environmental changes you know so many environmental crisis that just happens using your vitamin c will help to protect your skin from it and this is the one from balance the one that i normally use is the piami vitamin c but i've been using this one and i think it's nice like i think this is nice it's more expensive than the piami piami is sold for i think one five to two thousand naira, but this one is sold for four thousand plus four thousand five thousand ish yes but i don't know i've been liking this very well you can use this morning and nights, nice, but i prefer to use vitamin c's <laughs> 
in the morning so i just let the dropper not touch your face please then you i just drop it all over my face like this and i go in and massage it in my face this just just gives you a glow a radiance I, this acts like when i was using dr rachel face serum like the vitamin c face serum the glow that i had with it is the glow that i have with this one like that's the feeling that i get with this it just glows your skin gives your face a very radiant appearance but nothing nothing major again nothing more to it but vitamin c I think I always use vitamin C like regardless of the brand just be careful not to get a brand that will irritate your skin so but this has been working for me and I really 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 like it like I really like this product a lot now the third thing that I'd use in my skin this morning is now you see how my face is already looking is it not glowing in your eyes I think my face is already shining so I'm going to go in with the vitamin b3 this vitamin b3 i use it mostly at night but for mornings like this morning i'm going to be using it because it contains niacinamide too which helps to calm my skin helps to clear if you're dealing with little bits of dark spots hyperpigmentation this is your guy so get it and use it so i just use this and i also drop it all over my face are you seeing the sequence that i'm using to apply this product so you know let the drop on up so you go in and you massage them just gently into your skin So, you see, massage it gently into your skin. Skin is already glowing at this point, protected, shining, you know. When you apply your makeup, you just have a very smooth base. Like, serums are the bomb, guys. Like, if you've not started using, if you've not started using serums at this time, introduce them in your skincare. Like, your skin is going to thank you, really. So, you know when I told you that I'm using a lot of new products? So, these are the products that I'm using. This, hope, this... This my routine is very simple and they are targeted at my particular problem. I don't apply unnecessary products on my face because I don't want to like overload my face, especially in the morning. And the last products that I'm supposed to apply right now is my sunscreen. I would normally apply a cream sunscreen because I don't know why, but I feel more protected using a, a cream sunscreen than using sun sticks. But I'm not going to be going outside today. I am going to be working from home. And even if I get exposed to the sun, maybe sun rays from the windows and stuff. So I'm going to be using a sun stick and i like to use this one from the tokopo brand this is the one that i use i just open it up like this and i use it and go over it on my face like this, this i love this one stick so much because it has this shine like it has this shine to it that i i really 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 enjoy so i'm going to just go in like that So you just apply this all over your face if i was going outside i would apply a sun cream like a sun a sunscreen that like a creamy sunscreen you get i would apply that and then i'll use my sun stick to like reapply my sun like sunscreen on my face maybe i'm, I'm getting exposed to the sun i just carry this one along and just try to reapply like i try it's not like it's something i do all day sometimes i carry it in my bag and i forget to use it i am very serious so <laughs> i'm no i'm in no position to judge anybody if you're not reapplying your sunscreen i'm in no position to judge this is what i personally do like on some days i reapply i carry it though i put it in my handbag and on some days i remember i apply it now the last thing i'm going to be applying i always my lips feel dry when my lips feel dry I don't, i'm not comfortable like i am never comfortable i'm never comfortable with a dry lips no, normally i would apply my vestine lip balm but it's not within my reach so when i can't find it i go in with my laneige lip mask like i just go in and just apply it on my lips my lips just feels extra dry today i don't know like it's just been dry and a bit crusty ah my lips doesn't dry you like i feel it i feel it's so dry but then i go in and then i apply it i need to scrub my lips like i feel the need to scrub I'm just going to apply a little bit because just in case I decide to wear a lipstick or I decide to wear makeup today, I don't need so much. This is what my morning skincare routine looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do it or like it, subscribe, share to a friend. If you have any questions, ask me. I will answer you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed a few minutes. So have a good day. Stay out of trouble. Mind your business. Drink water. It's important. <laughs> and see you in my next video.
拜。